If you have a strap or a towel, we're going to use that at the beginning of our practice, just to put around our legs. And then of course, a, a candle, which we use every time. It's good to see you all, many of you again, some of you for the first time. And I'm really jealous of those of you who are outside. <laughs> that just seems perfect. So bless you for that. Yeah, make yourselves comfortable. You can even begin to stretch and open yourselves up. As we just wait for a couple more minutes for final people to to sign on. So welcome to all of you and welcome to Evening Yoga and Prayer. And I am just really glad that we can all gather together uh, to worship and practice and center ourselves in this moving practice and in our Psalms and in our poetry. Uh, as you can see, we're broadcasting from um, a new place from where I have been in the past. This is St. Thomas Church near DuPont Circle. And we're in the Bishop uh, Jean Robinson Chapel, which it's, it's a new building. It's a very old church, but a new building and um, quite beautiful. And they have this, you can't quite see it, but really very pretty chapel that we're in. Um, and the other thing to know is that um, all bodies are welcome here. And if you feel like not moving tonight, then just listen. If you feel like being really athletic, then be very athletic. Uh, but if you want to invite friends and they say, well, I don't know how to do yoga or I'm embarrassed to do yoga, then um, please let them know that this is not about yoga journal yoga. This is about praying with our bodies and everyone has a body and everyone uh, can pray with their body. Everyone can do embodied prayer. It's about finding who we are within and offering, offering that, that up. Um, so everybody is welcome and every um, body I think is, can be available to finding a time of calm and a time of centering. Uh, with that in mind, I'll try and show variations for different poses. And you're all, always welcome to just, not to just, but to sit in meditation or child's pose. Our format is loosely based on evening prayer or the Compline service of the church. And of course we add yoga and meditation and poetry all to create a space for uh, spiritual connection and rejuvenation. And I'm gonna be leading, but in the background you'll hear Tom, who's um, leading the, saying the prayers and uh, will be saying the poetry. I'm, I'm the acolyte. Yeah, he's the acolyte. And people are waiting to you. And you'll be muted most of the time, but uh, when we say the uh, uh, prayers of intercession, uh, please speak out on behalf of someone dear to you, um, for whomever you would like um, us to pray for. And at that point, we'll be lighting a candle. And so, and then at the very end, we'll be doing sort of a Lexio Divina on our poem. And at that point, you'll be asked to, to speak out as well. So now, please pray and breathe and let's move along together. We begin with our invocation Eternal spirit, flow through our being and open our lips. That our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let's begin by finding the ground beneath us as we prepare to say one own together. We'll settle into our mats or our pillows. Allow your body to relax entirely and then please breathe in with me releasing the air and i'll breathe in four times on the fourth time on the fourth exhale we'll all say an own together but on the first three exhales we'll just exhale quietly and silently so breathing in the first time 
and exhale. Breathing in. Exhale, release. Breathing in. Exhale, release. Breathing in. Oh. Our theme this week is Creation Tide. We join with people around the world celebrating God's creation and thinking about our role in caring for God's creation. I sent out a carbon tracker and you can join with other people in your diocese in working to lower your impact on the environment. In fact, the Episcopal Church celebrates creation every fall and it's sort of a balance to Earth Day and to, to spring growth. In the fall, we have the abundance of the harvest, and we also face the looming shadow of winter. And I think as we come to winter, we face a sort of jitteriness, of busyness. And so I would ask you, is the busyness a form of creation? Is it an act of taking in the harvest? Or are we keeping ourselves so busy that we don't have to think about the winter that is coming. Our poem tonight addresses our busyness and it asks us to pause and to count to 12. 12 represents many things, time, the hours of the day, the months of the year, the apostles of Jesus even. And if we pause for 12 moments, Perhaps we can drop below the anger and the jitteriness and the fear that separate us, that separate us from each other and from all the other people that are feeling angry and afraid and fearful. So the poem asks us to come together in that quiet, in that quiet that comes from counting to 12. So I'm just gonna quote a couple of lines here. Perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. And then Psalm 33, which we'll also hear, rejoices in the glory of God's work. All around us, there is so much beauty. If only we stop to see it all around us. And I think God's loving kindness fills the silences. The psalm, in a way, is a counterbalance, an answer to Neruda's poem. So listen to the poem and listen to the psalm and listen to what comes up for you in each of them. We'll begin now with our lead meditation on your cushion or on the floor. Find a relaxed position. Keep your back upright, but not too tight. Take your hands and allow them to rest comfortably on your thighs. Close your eyes. Feeling your body settle into your mat. Feel the sits bones heavy on the floor. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Allow your jaw to soften, allow your tongue to relax. And then begin to slow down each breath, breathing in as slowly as you can. As you breathe, become aware of the lungs expanding in your chest. And then exhale completely. And then feel for, from the inside, feel for that little notch right below your throat. And if, as you breathe in, feel how that little notch sucks in. And see if you can feel it closing in, pulling in as you inhale. And then feel the notch releasing on the exhale. 
So as you inhale and exhale, feel the notch tightening and releasing. And pay ever so careful attention to the breath, to that tightening and releasing just beneath your throat. And into that quiet, choose an intention for yourself. Who are you? Choose an intention or hope for this session, for our time, for our practice here together. Did you walk today? Did you go outside? Who were you as you noticed the trees? or felt the air on your skin. Allow that sense of self to float into your mind. Allow that intention to float into your mind. And say it to yourself in the first person, in the, first, in the present tense. Perhaps I am God's creation. Or perhaps I am birth, I am growth. I love and breathe in your intention. Feel it settle in your heart. And then exhale all the air out of your lungs. And as you exhale, breathe out any doubts or anxieties. And in your mind, place your doubts and anxieties outside of your house. Or if you're in a yard, place them outside on the street. and imagine them, see them there in a little packet, all tied up, waiting for you to pick them up later, but outside of you for now. No anxieties, only intention. And then feel God's presence wash over you and feel it physically washing over you, a sense of peace and grace. And with that peace and grace comes a sense of appreciation for doing this practice today, for showing up with these people to be present to yourself and to them. And then take your hands and rub your hands together and place them over your eyes. And then open your eyes and look into your eyes and look into the, or look into your hands and take your hands away and look out at the people with the faces around you. We are present to God's creation all around us in the example of others and the people we see around us in the unfurling of nature. We see the beauty of the divine. Now we come to God with words of praise. Light of the world in grace and beauty, mirror of God's eternal face, transparent flame of love's free duty, you bring salvation to our race. Now as we see the lights of evening, we raise our voice in hymns of praise. Worthy are you of endless blessing, Sun of our night, lamp of our days. And Tom and I will read Psalm 33, verses 1 through 8, responsibly by whole verse. Rejoice in God, you righteous. It is good for the just to sing praises. Praise God with the harp. Play on the psaltery and the lyre. Sing for God a new song. Sound a fanfare with all your skill upon the trumpet. For your word, O God, is right, and all your works are sure. You love righteousness and justice. 
Your loving kindness fills the whole earth. By your word, O God, were the heavens made. By the breath of your mouth, all the heavenly hosts. You gather up the waters of the ocean as in a water skin and store up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear you. Let all who dwell in the world stand in awe of you. Now we come to our moving prayer, and I invite you to come lying on your backs, taking your towel or your strap or cloth or whatever you have. And we will begin by taking our right leg up, taking the strap around the ball of the foot, and pressing the right heel up to the ceiling, taking, pressing the right ball of the foot down toward your face, and then with your left foot, you're pressing the left foot away from you as if you were stepping on the ground. So your right foot and your left foot feel as if you're stepping on the ground with both feet. And imagine your earth beneath you with your left foot, and you're pressing down into the earth and making connection with the earth. Now take your right hand around the strap, take your left hand, place it firmly on your left thigh, and take your right foot all the way over to the right, pressing the left hand down into the thigh, look over your left shoulder, and then opening up your right hip, and then take the right leg up. We're going to take the left hand around the strap, the right hand presses down into the floor. You take the right leg over and across your body, coming into a deep stretch, a deep twist. The right foot comes as far up toward your head and across your body as you can take it. Then take the right foot up. And then take both hands around the strap and pull the right knee down toward your shoulder, opening up the right hip. And then release, take the right leg long, left foot comes into the strap, the ball of the foot is pressing into the strap, extend the left leg long, and you're pressing into the left heel, and then with the right leg, you're extending the right leg as long and hard as you can. As if again, you're stepping on the ground with your right foot, and you're stepping on the ground with your left foot. Press your right hand firmly into your right thigh. Take your left foot over to the left, and you want to lift it up. So you're taking the left foot up toward your head, and then over across your body, pressing down into your right thigh, opening up the left hip. And the left leg comes up. Take the right hand around the right straps. Take the left leg over, all the way over. Your left hand is pressing down into the floor, feeling a deep stretch in your left hip. Left foot comes up. Take both hands around the strap. Put your left knee down, drawing the left knee down toward the floor. And then left foot comes up. Let go of your strap. We're going to come into happy baby, taking both, taking your peace fingers around your toes, drawing both knees down to the floor, rolling side to side. Back and forth. So you should begin to have the sense that your hips are opening up. Then we're going to take both feet on the floor, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, take your hands through your the, uh, window, take your right hand through the window of your um, legs. And you're going to take your hands and interlace them around your left thigh, draw your left thigh toward you. Press your right thigh away from you. So we're doing a reclined pigeon, and you should feel this in your right hip. So we're opening up the right hip from the left knee toward us, and then release. 
Take the right foot down onto the ground, cross the left leg over, take the hands, interlace them around the back of the right thigh, draw the right thigh toward you, pressing it into the left ankle, use the left elbow to press away the, the, left, um, the left leg, and now you're feeling the left hip open up, and then release. We're going to come up to standing pose. So put your strap away. And come up to standing. We're going to take our legs wide apart, coming into our feet sort of into a V. Take our hands to prayer pose. So we're going to back and forth, side to side, opening up. And then coming to a stillness and really pressing down, feeling the earth beneath us. We're in this sense of creation tide of making connection with the earth. So lift your toes up, press them down. And we're going to do a couple of, we're going to do a few malasana poses of coming down toward the earth, of bringing our hips down toward the earth, making a sense of connection, of coming down towards the earth. So we're going to take our arms up overhead, bring our hands to prayer, and then come down toward the earth. And then we take our arms all the way up. And you guys are beautiful on the screen because we're coming down and up together, coming down again. And if down, coming back up. Now we'll just pause up here, bring our hand to a hurt. If you cannot come down all the way, then just come down to here. If you um, want to take your hands to give you some support, that's fine. If you want to just come to here, that's fine. Come to where your hips are happy. If you can come all the way down, then do that. Do what's going to be comfortable in your hips. So we're going to do this a few more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, coming all the way down. Inhale, arms all the way up. Coming down. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, all the way down. We're going to stay down this time. Taking our hands to our heart, moving back and forth. Then come back to center. Take your right hand down and feel the earth. Taking your left hand on your heart. And then inhale, left hand up. Exhale, take it down to touch your right hand, which is on the earth. Draw it up and along the right arm, all the way up to the sky. Exhale, comes down to the hand. Inhale, hand comes along the arm, across the heart, up to the sky one more time. The hand comes down, across the chest, up to the sky, and then we come back to neutral. Left hand comes down to the mat, right arm across the chest, up to the sky. Arm, hand comes across, all the way up, our gaze is up to the sky. Inhale one more time. And then we come back to neutral, back and forth. And then take our arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hands back to our hearts. And then we're going to come to the front of our mats. Our legs are now parallel with each other. And we're going to come down immediately into chair pose. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, take your belly down onto your thigh. Hands down onto the mat. Lift your Hips up to the sky, let your head go. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, right foot back, left foot back, 
Now, the plank pose to come into chaturanga, if you want to bring your knees down, come into supported chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, press back to downward dog. Inhale, we take the right leg up. Exhale, scooping the belly up. Take the right foot between the hands. Inhale and come up to warrior one. Exhale, hands come down on either side of the right foot. Right foot comes back down into chaturanga. If you want to do a full chaturanga, that's great. Inhale, up the dog. Exhale, back to down the dog. Left leg comes all the way up. Scooping the belly up, left foot between the hands. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands on either side of the foot. Down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, we come back to down dog. We're going to take three breaths, down dog. So find your moments of silence in that for dog. And then we walk or hop to the front of our mats. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down. Inhale, back to chair pose. Belly starts on the thighs. Lifts up, arms are strong. Inhale, all the way up. Hands come down to the sides. We'll come back in the chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, belly down onto the thighs. Hips lift up. Inhale, halfway up. Right foot comes back, left foot comes back. Down in the chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. Take the right foot up, bring it forward. Between the arms, come up to warrior one. This time we're going to open up to warrior two. Warrior two, we come into a reverse warrior. Arm extends back behind us. Feel the opening of the side. And then back into warrior two. And then inhale up. And over, coming into extended side angle. Your hand, arm can come down onto your thigh or down to your foot. We're going to stay here for three breaths. And again, find the silence in those three breaths. Inhale back up. Reverse warrior. Back to warrior two, straighten your right leg. Inhale up and over. Triangle pose. Three breaths in triangle pose. And then back up. Reverse triangle. And then window your hands all the way down. Right foot comes back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, up, exhale, downward dog. Take your left leg up, bring it forward between your hands. Inhale, up to warrior one. Exhale, out to warrior two. Reverse warrior. Come back to warrior one, two, warrior two. Inhale up and over, finding your extended side angle. And again, your arm can be down on your thigh or down next to your foot. Your gaze is up toward the ceiling. You're turning your body up toward the sky. Your gaze actually is toward your right hand, but your body is turning up toward the ceiling. Three breaths. Inhale, back up. Reverse warrior. Warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Inhale up 
and over to come into triangle pose, pressing down into your big left toe, finding your connection to the earth in all these poses. Gaze up towards your right hand. Inhale back up. Reverse triangle. And then back to warrior two. Windmill your hands back down. Take your left foot back and down onto your knees. Sit over onto your side. And then we're going to come to a seated position. And we're going to bring our candles out at this point. So I have my candle here. Well, I'm going to light it, and that would be a good time for you to light your candle too. Holy One, in your life we receive life. Raise us to the new life of grace. You look with compassion on our human failings. Raise us to the new life of grace. We pray for those who are sick, for those who are bereaved, for those who are anxious and afraid, for those alone and isolated, for medical professionals and healthcare workers around the world, for those protesting for a better world and those working to make the world safer, more equitable and just for all people. And for all those whose names we offer silently or aloud. So please call out those whom we are praying for tonight. Jane. Kirsten. Aaron. Callahan. Hi, Jill and Dara. Ruth. Alice. God of compassion and love, we offer you all our suffering and pain. Give us strength to bear our weakness, healing even when there is no cure, peace in the midst of turmoil, and love to fill the space in our lives. Glory to God from whom all love flows. Glory to Jesus who showed his love through suffering. And glory to the Holy Spirit who brings light to the darkest state places. Amen. And now we come to our poem of the week, Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. Now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of the earth. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for a second and not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic moment without rush without engines, we would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales, and the man gathering salt would not look at his hurt hands. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victories with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. 
What I want should not be confused with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. Perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive. Now I'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and I will go. So now I invite you to allow this poem to express itself in your body. Allow you to, I will read it again and I allow you to move with the poem, perhaps just through your fingers, perhaps with your entire body. But how can you allow your body to read it, to speak it? Now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still for once on the face of the earth. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for a second and not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without engines. We would all be together in a sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales and the man gathering salt would not look at his hurt hands. Those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victories with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade, doing nothing. What I want should not be confused with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing, perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. Perhaps the earth can teach us when everything seems dead and later proves to be alive. Now, I'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and I will go. I invite you to seated movement into Dasana pose, extending your arms, I mean, extending your legs long in front of you, pulling your belly in, extending your head up toward the ceiling, your spine long, drop your shoulder blades down your back, and inhale, and then exhale, fold forward and hold your hips. And fold your belly, keep your belly firm and strong, and then pull forward. Kind of walk your hands forward as if they might, in fact, reach your feet and draw yourself forward and pull yourself down as far as you'll go, and then let your head go. Relax in your neck. Take a breath in. And exhale, come a little bit more deeply into the nose. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, a little bit more deeply, one more time. If you have your strap, you can take that and pull yourself forward that way to come more deeply. Then inhale, release, put your strap aside. 
Then we're going to take the opposite pose, take our feet flat onto the floor, come up into table pose, feel the opposite stretch. Oops, and I got a Charlie horse as soon as I did that. So we got a Charlie horse. Two, just wriggle it out, lift your hips up toward the sky, pull your belly in, and then exhale, come down, and then bend your right knee, take your right foot up and around, and then we're going to take the right hand around, and either you're going to grab the right foot with your right hand, or you're going to take your left hand and put it around your right foot and hold on to your left elbow. So now you've got this chain, you want this chain of connection, this sort of closed loop here, closed circle. You're going to inhale up and fold forward, and you should feel your left heel pressing into your belly. So you have these different connections with your body. The left, the right hand is connecting with the left arm. The heel is pressing into your belly and then you're looking at your big toe. And all these different ways that your body is connecting. And then your sit bones are pressing down into the earth. Inhale, come up. Press your right foot forward. Take your left foot in, left heel comes back. And again, if you're very flexible, you can take your left hand to your left foot. Otherwise, take your right hand to your left foot. Left hand comes around, grabs the right elbow. Inhale, up, fold forward, looking towards the right toe, pressing the left heel into your belly, inhale and exhale, feeling your sits bones pressing down into the earth, always being reminded of your connection to the earth in these poses, and of your connection to your own body. Inhale, we come up, take a left leg, long, bend your right knee again, take the right foot to the far side of your left thigh, right hand comes back behind you for support, inhale, left arm up, left knee to the far side of your left, right thigh, inhale up, come into a gentle twist, look over your right shoulder, And release, right foot forward, and your left knee. Inhale, right arm up, bend your right elbow. Inhale, turn and twist over your left shoulder. Release. And then we're going to come back to cross-legged position. And we're going to come into our alternate nostril breathing. So take off your glasses if you have them. Take your thumb and your forefinger. Close your left nostril with your thumb. Inhale through your left nostril, uh, excuse me, your right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril. Exhale out through your right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, and exhale left. 
Take your hands down onto your thighs, close your eyes. Take a breath in and release. And allow your intention to come back into your mind. And say your intention to yourself. Find what space you've created with your physical poses. Is there more space for your intention? Breathe it in. And then come down onto your back when you're mad. We'll come into happy baby as we did at the beginning of the practice and notice any differences in your hips as you come into happy baby this time rolling back and forth side to side and then release your happy baby and come lengthwise Letting your legs go on your mat. And we will hear our closing prayer of the evening. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. Night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. Night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us, and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. Then Tom will read the poem again. And this time as you hear the poem, let a word bubble up into your heart. And then at the end of the poem, call your word out loudly, whatever word most resonated with you. And that word will become part of our common prayer, our prayer that we create together through our coming together, through our practice together. So close your eyes, take a breath in and listen to the poem again. Now we will count to 12. We will all keep still for once on the face of the earth. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for a second and not move our arms so much. It would be an exotic moment without rush, without engines. We would all be together in sudden strangeness. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm whales, and the man gathering salt would not look at his hurt hands. Those who prepare green wars Wars with gas, wars with fire, victories with no survivors, would put on clean clothes and walk about with their brothers in the shade, doing nothing. What I want should not be confused with total inactivity. Life is what it is about. I want no truck with death. If we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving, and for once could do nothing. Perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death. Perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems to be dead and later proves to be alive. Now I'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and I will go. Uh, 
silence. Together. Brother. Quiet. Earth. Still. Quiet. Teach. Understanding. Now we will have Shavasana for two minutes to allow your bodies to entirely relax, let your hands go, your legs go, let your shoulders relax, your neck relax. Begin to move your fingers, and your hands, wiggle your toes, move your feet around your ankles. As you're ready, come to a seated position and come sitting. Say our final blessing. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the watching shepherds to you. Deep peace of the son of peace to you. Amen and namaste. See you next week.